Hey friend, welcome back to RGD Gaming. If you're a new or intermediate player, this is the right channel for you. Here we teach you how to climb up the ranks and we're actually doing it together. I'm a grandmaster working towards being a challenger. If you want to improve your game, hit subscribe and follow my channel where I'll help you learn how to rank up and show you how I went through the lower levels. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, is Misfortune still good? And specifically, can you play Misfortune in Master and above? What you didn't see uh, that I could in the loading screen was that at least three of the people on our team were relatively high elo, I think top 5,000 if I'm remembering correctly. And so what I'm thinking here is Lucian and Blitz, early champs, I want to be cautious. I don't want to do exactly what Soraka did right there, and I want to stay back, take kills as I can, poke them as I can, but I don't want to get caught out. I mean, Soraka already burned Flash, and so they should know that and be playing around the fact that if Blitz hits another pull, Soraka's probably dead, and they should also be aware of that as well. I'm actually in a dual queue with Briar right there. I played with them several times, and they're actually pretty solid on Soraka. So, you know, I get what they're trying to do there. They're trying to poke. They probably don't know about the cam in the bush, uh, but Blitz is sort of doing the same thing where he's trying to get the pulls, get us to burn some of our summoning spells, our abilities, and, uh, you know, kill us, obviously, because Lucian has very good kill potential. He can burst us down pretty quickly. And, you know, same thing with Blitz. He can pull right there. He's going to stop Zorak right there, jump forward. And uh, Lucian jumped up a little bit, took a turret shot. He probably didn't want to, but that's okay. And so now we're actually okay, even though he hit that second pull. We're probably sitting a little better than we should be. If Lucian hadn't jumped too far forward, we'd be in a much worse situation. But we're still going to stay back a little bit. And we're getting pings right now that Wukong is in our jungle, but there's just not a lot we can do with Kane on the other side of the map. Uh, we really can't turn because we can just get collapsed on. Plus our wave was shoved in there. You actually saw me, I was looking at it, trying to see if we could collapse on Wukong, but I think we would just get jumped on by Lucian and Blitz and lose an entire wave there because we were shoved in where we kind of didn't want to be. And so now we're just going to clear and just let him have it. I mean, Kane's ganking Kennen. Oh, it looks like Malphite just ultimate. And they got first blood. So that's good. So we sort of did what we could. And now Wukong's still here. And unfortunately, Soraka went down because they didn't have flash from earlier because they were in the bush, uh, which happens. And I was able to flash away. And now I'm just going to reset. Get a shop in. It's almost the three minute mark. And so the next thing, or really the main thing on my mind is objectives. I'm thinking this dragon's coming up in two minutes. What should I be doing? And I'm also trying to see who I can on the map. So the wave shoved in, we're just gonna clear this. I can see Kane rotated, but there really wasn't much to do. So he's resetting and so Ideally, what I'm trying to do is get my first item and then get to the dragon. And also, if in that process, not lose any farm. So the, that's really what I'm trying to do right now. I know that Lucian isn't in lane, so I'm just freezing it here. I've got another minute and 20. Here's Blitz, and I just want Lucian to lose some farm. And so I'm poking Blitz as I can. I'm freezing the wave. I shouldn't have missed that big minion. That was a mistake, but that happens sometimes. And now poking Blitz down, making sure that I last hit everything. And we got one minute left. I got my the gold I need it for Yumi's. I'm gonna go back, shop, grab that. And then I'm really just thinking about the dragon. At this point, I'm probably wondering where Lucian is. And I can see him now on this video that something was going on. I don't know if he was waiting for an item or possibly he was going AFK for a minute. But I was fortunate to have plenty of time and able to take advantage of that where I didn't lose too much farm. And I'm able to come here 
and we've got about 20 seconds. I'm able to poke Blitz more. And I know if they fight us, we're probably pretty good. Blitz is really low and I'm able to stop his recall. Lucian jumps forward, which was a mistake, and I was able to just hit him with my first ability on the uh, the bounce, so that was good. Two seconds until Dragon, and I make the decision to grab some fruit, head over, help Kane. I can see the Malphite's rotating, so he's really trying to get the Dragon as well, and now Ari's coming, and we should take the Dragon. So everyone should be here in case they collapse on us. We win a fight. We get dragon and if for some reason Soraka and I decide not to come there and everybody shows up you know that'd be really unfortunate uh, for Malphi to come all the way from his lane it looks like we're gonna get another kill on Lucian that's good oh Kane Blitz was able to get Kane that was a good play by him he was three versus one and he got a kill out of it so good for Blitz on that and so now I'm out of mana I'm gonna reset Get a shop in. Looks like I'll probably be getting some boots. And then head back over to lane. Okay, so now what I'm looking to do is really take down one of these tier one turrets. Mine, or preferably mid. Mid's a better turn to get than, you know, top or bot but it's fine. And so what do we have going on right now? We've got three people collapsing. And so I'm mostly trying not to die, although Blitz got his hook on. And so I'm trying to hide under the turret, not get killed. They ended up getting it. I was able to alt and not die. And Ari rotated, which was good. And now we're chasing them down. Nasus had alt. That's fine. And I, I floated back there because I saw Kennen coming and I didn't want Ari to get collapsed down by Kennen. He could have been able to burst Ari down. And so now I'm just going to clear the wave. I took a lot of damage, used a lot of mana trying to not die there. So I'm going to reset again. And now I'm looking, I really don't want to go towards my turret. So I'm looking towards mid and trying to get something or make a play in mid right now because if I go up to mine, I don't have the turret to save me anymore. So I see Ari was caught and I'm able to slow Nasus, get a kill. And so that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. And now I'm gonna hang out here, clear the wave and see if anything else happens. Blitz is guarding and He's trying to pull, he gets another pull off. This blitz is good, but we're able to kill him. And now we're gonna put some damage on the turret. And I wanna play cautious there because I know Lucian's probably rotating. And so what I'll be looking to do now is clear my wave and then rotate again and see what's available on the map or what I should be doing. Um, I don't wanna overextend and die, which I think a lot of people do because they're trying to get you know, the turret as well. And so what I'm going to do is clear the wave. And then depending on what I see on the map, that's going to dictate what I'm doing. But right now I'm trying to clear. I see there's some action going on in mid. And I'm looking to play pretty cautiously here and reset because I don't know where Wukong is. He can kill me and he can chase me down too. There's really nothing I can do if he catches me. And I get uh, a little bit of a power spike here with my second item because... I can now slow with my abilities, so I become much more powerful in team fights. And if somebody doesn't dive on me, you know, it's a pretty big danger. So now I've slowed Blitz and Nasus, and that's why that charm hits there. And now we have a team fight breaking out. Now fight alt. I'm able to alt, and I get a double kill. And this is the answer to the question, is Misfortune still viable at Master and Above? And I think this answer, she is. It really just depends on who you're playing into and who your team is. Malphite Misfortune is a devastating alt. And so what happens when you combo that together, you always get multiple kills. Not always, but almost always, you're gonna get multiple kills there. And we take down two turrets as well. And now we're rotating to get our next objective and I'm looking around and they forfeit. That's the power of misfortune. When you have a team fight, Malphite alt, Ari hits her charm, 
Misfortune, that's Ultimate. You have Soraka healing everybody and Kane to clean up. It can end a game in a matter of seconds where everything was pretty close. The other team absolutely had a chance to win that game. But because that team fight went so poorly, everybody decided to forfeit. And we win, which is basically them giving us the game. Comment down below. Have you ever stolen a dragon with Misfortune's alt? Easily one of my favorite things to do. Thanks for watching, guys. GG.